Coming up in this episode, we talk about the best powder measure stand available on the market. Hey guys, Rob here from Hunt Shoot Off Road, and today we're going to talk about um, a problem that I feel like I've found the best solution for, and um, uh, it's 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 one of those things where you go along using with what's available to you and uh, doing what you do, and you procrastinate and do all these sorts of things, and and the the solution is right there waiting for you to find. And it's just, when you get it, you're like, why didn't I get this so long ago? And um, I, I bought so many things for reloading and some of them, I'll, I'll give you an example. This is the uh, RCBS, what do they call it? Supreme Auto Pro Primer. So this is a system that, it's got this priming tube, uh, heaps of different little contraptions. Anyway, it's got this little pump. What it does it goes on the uh, on the press? I don't know if you can see. It. It goes on the press on the front here. Tube comes up. Feel the primers in there. Pull the handle down. Push the pump in. Ding it, and that's it. You don't need to use a hand primer. Now my reasons for why I bought that. This cost me like uh, nearly a hundred bucks. I haven't had the time to set it up or to use it. I've been too busy. And so what do we do? We we make adjustments. So. Of course, I just continue to use the, the hand primer that you've seen in all the videos, just pump them out. And so, I've done the same thing for a long time with my, my powder, powder throw. So, it comes with this, uh, this bit, and I looked at considering when I was setting up my bench and looked at the possibility of buying a powder measure stand, and I thought, what a waste of money, like, they're like 80 bucks, 90 bucks, 70 bucks, depending on which brand you want to get. And, um, you know, when it comes with this, why would I need to spend that money when I can obviously put my powder measure in here? There's an option to screw it to the bench if you want. And um, look, that's what my dad's got. That's what all my mates with the rock chucker kits have got. And um, a lot of people use this satisfactorily. And um, some people think that there's not an issue. Now what I found with when I was using this is the time it takes to set it up. I've got to unscrew the die all the way out, screw the die all the way back in, then I've got to screw the powder measure in there, and uh, you know you've got to screw it down, then you've got to lock the lock nut, and then you've got to fill it up with powder. Then when you're finished, you've got to unscrew it, try not to bump the handle so that you don't shake some loose grains out onto the table, and, uh, and then of course by the time you unscrew it, then you've got to tip the powder back in, and away you go. And what I've found with myself and a lot of people, and I can tell you now, most of my mates that reload, if you go around their place, there's the powder measure. Either this is screwed to the bench and the powder measure is full of powder. And what that means is that your powder is becoming susceptible to moisture. But you know, what do we do? We, we put a porous rag over the top because of course that can stop all the moisture going in there. We think it's doing some Bit special, yeah. There's a cap on there, but we all know that it's not a it's not a sealed unit. The, the moisture in the air can get in there, and that potentially is going to ruin your powder. So, you know, so what would happen for myself is I would never leave the powder in there, but it meant that I would seriously procrastinate doing my reloading because I'd be like, oh, if I want to get to that, like maybe I'd get to a certain stage, or like, oh, I don't want to put the powder in there because it's getting like it's like 11 o'clock. I don't want to keep doing reloading, so I'll do it tomorrow. But then I get busy tomorrow. Then it's like I'll do it the next day, and so on and so forth. And you understand how this happens. So then eventually, what happens is I finally do it, leave the powder in there for three or four days. Then like, damn, damn, I left the powder in there. You know, you tip it out. Of course, what do you do? You tip that powder in with your other powder, contaminating all your powder. And look, hasn't caused me grief yet, but. You can easily see how you could fall into a rut and um, and have problems. So I, I don't even know what happened, but I discovered the Hornady lock and load. And uh, look, I'm yet to be converted for the purposes of lock and load on a single stage press. I think you're defeating the whole purposes of getting your superior accuracy from a single stage press by having a quick die change set. I think that's the same for even the likes of the, um, the Lee breech lock. 
But, I mean, boom, it's done. You know, like you just, you just twist that bad boy out of there and you can dump your powder in two seconds flat. And uh, I think this cost me about uh, 70 bucks or maybe, you know, but I, I think I've seen it as low as 60. Um, I did, I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a powder stand. I should've got this out earlier. But th this is what I did for, this is what I did for my Lee. I, I made this little stand and um, you know, and I put that there and I put it on the bench and I could utilize that, you know, it was really good. Cause then when I was finished, I could just tip it over and then just chuck it back under the bench. And, and that was satisfactory. Um, I didn't really like this. It was really bad for getting caught, obviously. But, um, you know, but there was the convenience of doing this. And so, when I went with the RCBS kit, this was going to be a problem because I was going to have to fabricate up some big machine, you know, something big. And uh, anyway, when I did get this, I, I seriously procrastinated screwing it to the bench because I didn't know where I wanted to put it. I didn't know if I wanted it out further here or on the left or on the right. And uh, then I decided I bought some laminate and I was going to do the same as I did this and, and mounted some laminate and I got some countersunk bolts to bolt it in from underneath. And I was going to, you know, made this big task out of doing nothing. So what happened was I got my inline fabrication, um, can't even think what you call it, the mount there and I put it in a wrong spot and I had to re-drill the holes to, to shift it at a bit of an angle to improve the purpose of, of purchasing that. And then while I was at it, I was like, you know what? I just stuffed up, made some mistakes with some holes. Who cares? I'm just gonna screw this powder mount to the bench and if I make a mistake, I'll just move it and just deal with the holes later. And um, oh wow, it is just the best thing that's ever happened to me. I mean, it's just so quick, it's so convenient. It's like two seconds, it's in and out, and dump the powder out. I can reload now without uh, ramifications. If I wanna get halfway through, I can just turn it off, take it out, dump the powder out, and, uh, and it's empty, good to go. You know, obviously still got the problem with the static and all that sort of stuff like that, but this is single-handedly the best, best add-on that you can buy for reloading. I mean, you can buy overall length gauges, you can buy, um, you know, O-drive measures and all this sort of little fancy stuff. But this, I wish I had bought this sooner. I wish I had screwed it to the bench sooner. It is by far the number one extra you can buy for your reloading kit. It is just, it is just fabulous. I mean, it's just, it's there, it's good. I can still screw out my, um, change what size is on there. Um, and, uh, it's just it's just fantastic the other really good thing is for those that like to uh, put the powder in from the trays the thing that they boast is this actually the deepest neck there and you can reload with the tray you can do both sides of the tray in there i don't like to reload from the tray i like to go from tray to tray um, and i i'll leave it on the bench there and i'll put it underneath there charge it and then put it in the next tray i don't like to go you know boom 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 like that i think that that's a recipe for disaster it's easy for you to miss one or double charge one i believe obviously people people do it and they get away with it um, but i have been shooting cowboy shooting for a long time now and the amount of squib loads the amount of double charges i've seen it's just ridiculous and i think that it's easily avoided if you go from tray to tray and uh so it's great because it's got that longer neck it's, it's uh but that means I can mount it further back on the bench and so it's more out of the way. Um, it's, a, it's a good height from there, I think it's fantastic. And just the, the fact it's quick release with the lock and load system is just, oh, uh, just amazing. And I, I really wish I'd done it much sooner. Um, I would have saved so much time, so much angst, and it is the number one investment, I think, if you're reloading with anything, number one investment to get this this is just just so good it's just so good now i will say if you do get the lyman uh brass smith it does come with a similar quick release um on the powder measure however 
the Lyman has an extremely small um, capacity that it can hold in the powder. So this gives you the flexibility of using whatever um, powder measure you want, whether it's a Hornady, the, a, a Lee one, RCBS, I mean, I think if you watch enough videos and you've seen all the reviews, the RCBS is considered the best uh, manual powder measure there is on the market. And um, <clears throat> I just, it's probably really the only Hornady reloading product I, I own other than some measuring tools. And, but this thing is just, it is just the best investment that you can do. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know so that you guys can have a, have a look at, at getting it. And uh, I wish someone had made a video and put it out on YouTube sooner because man, it's just, it's just been fantastic. Look guys, just uh, that's it. Hit that subscribe button in the middle. Make sure you hit that big knockout bell so you get a notifications when I drop another video. And, uh, and uh, any, any questions? Drop it in the comments below. I'll try and get to it. And uh, guys, get out there, get reloading, and um, get them big boars. And until next time, I'll catch you later.